A rare and ambitious spectacle. That's how viewers describe the Filipino musical film, Emir, which premiered just days before the Independence Day celebration. Tonight, we find out what it means to be a Filipino working abroad through the tapestry of song, dance, and culture. I'm Chacha Lazaro. Join me as we explore Emir and rediscover the gems of Filipino musicals. This is Media and Focus. Stay with us. The Filipino musical returns to the big screen with Emir, an original full-length movie musical directed by award-winning filmmaker Chito Ronyo. Emir chronicles the life of Amelia, an Ilocano who leaves home to work in a royal household in the Middle East for the sake of her family. Amelia becomes the nanny of a young prince. She teaches her ward about Filipino culture, including the language and her dialect. But war breaks out and changes their lives forever. Emir's government's tribute to the pains and triumphs of the overseas Filipino worker. It was inspired by the experience of President Arroyo, who met the son of a Middle Eastern official during a visit to Bahrain. She was surprised upon learning that the boy spoke fluent Filipino and Ilocano, thanks to his Filipino nanny. The film reportedly had a budget of over 50 million pesos from the President's Social Fund, the Film Development Council of the Philippines, and the Cultural Center of the Philippines. The huge budget showed in the breathtaking scenes shot in Morocco, Ilocos, and Ifugao, and the production team composed of the cream of the crop of TV, movie, and theater. Newcomer Francesca Farr leads the cast, supported by industry heavyweights like Dulce, Bayan Barrios, and Sid Lucero. The film opened on June 7th. It's about time. Alam kong mahilig tayo sa mga kanta. Mahilig tayo umawit. <laughs> uh, mahilig tayo sa music. Mahilig tayo sa sayaw. Uh, hindi sa atin ay iba ang musical. Ronya and his team hope Emir will revive the glorious years of Filipino movie musicals. Joining us is the man behind Emir, director Chito Ronyo. Emir producers Digna Santiago of the Film Development Council of the Philippines, film critic Phil D. of ClickTheCity.com, and Johanna Poblete, a reporter for Business World. Welcome to Media in Focus. It's so nice to have you to discuss this film. Chito, you've been doing so many films over the last many years, but you have tagged Emir as your dream project. Why do you call it your dream project? You know, um, I've done so many kinds of uh, films, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, lately, it was the horror. Uh, the horror films I made that really made a lot of money. And I wanted to do something really totally different. Mm -hmm. And it has been always been um, a dream, talking to a lot of artists, mm -hmm. writers, to put music as an integral part of storytelling. Okay. But you know, the opportunity for doing this project does not come so easy. Uh, very rare does it, do you have a producer who's willing to spend so much mm -hmm. and willing to risk uh, to do something that's entirely new uh, sa generation natin. Uh -oh. Because uh, we really never had a full original film musical for mm -hmm. a long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Digna, you are the producer representing the Film Development Academy. And this film has been described as lavish and probably very ambitious. Why did the Film Development uh, Council, Council uh, embark on such a project? Well, the project was really initiated by the Cultural Center of the Philippines, mm. who approached, uh, Mr. Hardin approached Mr. Ronio. And, but then the CCP said they don't have it in their mandate, and the mandate is with the Film Development Council. Mm. So together with the other objectives of FDCP, of the Council to promote the growth and development of Filipino film, our chairman, Mr. Orlando Atienza, said that this is the right, another way of promoting the growth and development of Philippine cinema. Mm -hmm. And so FDCP, in association with CCP, mm -hmm. uh, came up with this project and Direct Chito said, yes, I'd like to do it, but let's try a musical. Yes. <laughs> okay. That, well, which is ambitious, right? And being a producer yourself and knowing the numbers that go behind filmmaking, is it true that the budget was $50 million? Uh, Somewhere along that line. Okay. Uh -oh. is, is it, in your experience, one of the high-ticket 
uh, budgets ever for any kind of a film? Well, I think there are bigger budgeted films of before, but as far as my experience is concerned, of course, this is the biggest. Mm -mm. And I think, as Phil would say, one of the most ambitious. All right. It is ambitious, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. The film is also called Rare, and that it uh, put together elements that had not been joined together before. Is that, is that an accurate description of this film? Well, um, it's rare because the, the mere genre of being a musical uh, does not really happen uh, in this country for I don't know how many, what, decades or more in between. No? Was that a challenge to you as a director to make a musical work in the film uh, model? Yes. Um, I have seen a lot of musicals, film musicals, mm -hmm. pero this one's Hollywood or Bollywood. Yes. You know. And uh, I felt that uh, we as a people really were, were into music. Mm -hmm. And I felt that um, since we had it before, uh, to try to bring this genre back. Okay. And uh, rare because uh, it's the first time that you'll be bringing into the movies people who are actually excellent singers, composers, who will never really do films because hiwalay na ang mundo they're, they're not yes, movie actors oh, to begin with. And, and the music that we use uh, in regular uh, commercial films are not really the music that these composers do in, in what they're famous for anyway. Yeah. I understand that you had very specific um, qualifications for the people who would act, that they had to sing and mm -hmm. act. And act. And not just lip sync their yes. voices, right? <laughs> sila mismo. Ah, sila to, mismo. Oh, yeah. Okay, Philbert, did this work? Mm, well, uh, this combination of film, music, real musical talent and not just the lip sync type of talent i think um i think as a spectacle it works i think um based on the idea that um films can be grand and big and um you know they don't have to be small scale sure it works but um my problem with it is mostly i'm i'm a story guy i'm a writer i mm -hmm. i really do pay attention to plot and you know, um i i think as i think the film is kind of plotless okay and uh in that way Sure, there are great grand moments, but as a whole, I don't think it works as a as a full movie. I think mm -hmm. by the time you get to the end, you're um, you're deflated. You're actually deflated because the emotions didn't follow through from number to number. Okay, F for you, Joanna, what were the high points of the film? Well, I do appreciate the work that was involved in this film, and um, those grand scenes were with the songs and the dance numbers. Yeah, of course, it's very, very, very well choreographed and all that. Although sometimes it's a, li it's a little bit uh, awkward. But why awkward? Why do you say awkward? Um, well, not all of them, for example, were. Uh, well, it. Um, sorry, but they they didn't. Uh, all flow together at the, in, in similar ways. Um, mm -hmm. The timing was off sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes when you uh, focus um, wide angle shots, uh, you can see that some of them weren't really in, on, on time, so that's why I, it was kind of off that okay. way. Was that a challenge for you, Chito, to be able to make the musical genre work in the context of a film? Well, what I really wanted to achieve then. Yeah. was to move away from the Hollywood concept uh, of uh, a musical, mm -hmm. which was everybody had long legs, everybody worked like clockwork, and everybody danced like they have been training all their lives. Yes, yes. No, I wanted to, uh, Douglas and I said that we wanted to get people from Ilocos, teach them to dance, and dance the way they want to dance. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Basically just follow uh, a movement, a basic movement um, and it was intentional okay. you know? uh, that's why we had really old people dancing uh, kids dancing mm. because we wanted to show 